friends devotion to the sacred heart is significant for family unity like the other catholic families in our area our family believe that enshrining the image of the sacred heart in our home would bring unity grace and love to the family by encouraging members to imitate christ so part of the housewarming ritual is to enshrine the sacred heart image the earliest known proponents of the devotion to the sacred heart were saint bernard in the 11th century and saint gertrude the great and saint mechtilde in 12th century however the devotion became popular four centuries later when saint margaret mary alacoc had visions in 1673 jesus showed her the now famous image of the sacred heart and revealed to her his desire for a widespread devotion of his sacred heart saint margaret put the image on the canvas it portrays a wounded bleeding heart against jesus's chest shining with divine light the heart is encircled by the crown of thorns and a cross on the top the wounded hands of jesus points uh, uh, to the heart the heart represents jesus's physical heart and his sacrificial love the pierced bleeding heart reminds us of the piercing of jesus's heart on the cross the crown of thorns symbolizes the crown placed on jesus's head and the humiliation and torture he <coughs> endured the cross represents the choice jesus made to win victory over sin the flames symbolize jesus's burning love for us and the light surrounding the heart is the divine light that dispels darkness the devotion to the sacred heart helps us become one heart and mind with jesus to see the world as he did we reflect jesus in our decisions relationships hurts pains loneliness and possessions we represent the mind the heart the actions emotions and words of jesus which means the devotion has the power to lead us to the unity intimacy and oneness jesus established with his father through contemplation and prayer it has the caliber to help us imitate the compassionate heart of jesus who cured the sick welcomed the little ones and offered hope to the hopeless it can give us the courage to comfort injustice to confront injustice make friends with enemies share dinner with the sinful and reach out to those in the fringes of the society as we celebrate this feast let us join saint margaret who say and say let the most perfect union reign reign among us